Hello ladies and gentlemen, how much hex can the hex god tax before the hex becomes too much hex? We're going to find out in this battle. Facing the guy named Tyler on Facebook. Um, nah, I won't link you to his profile because, you know, that'd be like, yeah, you guys, you'll stalk him or something and that's, that's not proper and all that. So we're not going to link you to him because you guys can just, you know, join a Facebook group and hope you run into him or something like that. Anyways, looking at the teams, he has a rain team, I have a rain team, and... Yeah, what, um, the, the hex is very game changing. I'm not going to tell you whether it's for him or for me because I don't want to spoil the ending because it is going to be one of my longer battles, as you can see. Um, which is, um, you know, very unusual. Usually, by the time, usually, you know, by the time I record and then double speed, it's around, you know, five to six minutes. This one's going to be around 11 ish. So. For, we had to keep disconnecting, and we just kept switching up the leads every time, just because he wouldn't answer me if he wanted the same leads or not. And so, you know, I'm going to go for the body slam first turn, just because I got nothing to lose. Thunder C's not going to one-shot my Jirachi, so I'm not really afraid. He keeps going for the in-power ice. I guess expecting a Thunderous T switching, or some kind of switching to resist what would seem like an electric move, but, you know, I didn't want to risk, you know, first turn over predictions, and it's good that I didn't, because... I'm thinking he must either be Choice Specs or Choice Scarf, doesn't really matter because he's paralyzed now, so he's slower than me. And now he is going to switch. I figured I had nothing to lose, so I might as well just wish and see what he's going to switch into if he switches at all, because he could have just left that thing in to die. And I'm going to go for the boss slam and get lucky with the Parahax again. I mean, it is Jirachi, Asterine, Grace, but still, as you can tell, the battle's already pretty haxy. And now here I'm going to switch, he's going to go for the Hydro Pump, and judging by that damage, that is a more than likely Specs Volitoad, so I'm not fearing him, you know, switching to an Ice Beam. And I guess he thought maybe I was going to go for, I don't know, Outrage or something, because he switches into his Ferrothorn. And out of all the battles we had, he never once, for whatever reason, used Thunder Wave on Ferrothorn, so I just assumed that he never had it. And he's going to have it, for whatever reason, like... I don't know why he did not use it in the previous battles before it just kept disconnecting and all that. But he apparently had it, so that's a shocker right there. I figured Leech Seed was next. And so I figured, you know, I can safely brain it in Thunderous T knowing that it's going to be a Leech Seed. Sure, I'm going to lose some health, but I don't really care. And here I am going to brain in my Curum B, and in all honesty, I probably should have, rapid, should have had a Rapid Spinner on this team. Being that I have three Pokemon weak to Stealth Rocks, but, you know, su I can substitute here. He's going to go for the Power Whip because he uh, he knows from previous battles that it's a sub Hone Claws Dragon Tail Black Curum, which is actually very nice. Um, I don't have the... I mean, you know, it it's nice, but I... yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go for the Hone Claws here, figuring, you know, he, what's he, uh, he, what's he gonna really going to do? He can hit Power Ice. He might have the Focus Blast, but in which case, I think I'm just going to go for the Dragon Tail. Right here. No, I actually go for the home class because I remembered. That's right. He's paralyzed, so I'm going to be faster anyway. So I might as well have nothing to lose. But in all honesty, I probably, you know, should have just gone for the Dragon Tail that turn because he goes for the Volt Switch to break my, um, my substitute. And I figure, you know, he's probably going to just try and mock punch and damage anything that comes in. He's not going to spore, so I might as well just go for the substitute here and get behind the substitute. I have like no health, but I don't really care because now I can just Dragon Tail and do plenty of damage because I believe I'm at plus three home claws or something like that. And so he is going to break my substitute as I figured, but you know, Dragon Tail is easily going to KO Breloom. So that's why, you know, sub Dragon Tail is pretty deadly. So now he brains in his Jirachi. He goes for the Thunder, and I believe he gets lucky um, and gets the Parahax, which is unfortunate, and I get the first turn Paralysis, which is also unfortunate, because guess what? I was going to go for the Dragon Tail, get the Strachi out. The Strachi was not going to be a huge deal, right? No, no. Uh, apparently, Paralysis decides that that can't happen, but I can break his substitutes, which is, you know, not a big deal. It doesn't matter if I get par Paralyzed. And I know he has Confusion, but Water Pulse has what? Like a, It's like a 20% chance, I believe with um, Serene Grace and when you know he gets the confusion I break through it though so that's not a big deal okay you know I break through the para hack or the parafusion right there so it's not a huge deal I bring out his Ferrothorn I don't really I just I don't care about Ferrothorn in all honesty 
And now he's going to leave seed and yeah, I guess because, you know, I can't really do anything. And I'm going to go for a substitute, which I shouldn't have. I'm not really sure why I actually did, in all honesty. I think I kind of thought I might still be faster than the Ferrothorn, um, even with paralysis. But I guess he, he must have speed. He must, you know, be max IVs in speed. And here I was going to go for a roost to heal up. And wouldn't you know that I get paralyzed. Wouldn't you know, right? I mean, uh, whatever. It's not a big deal because I can just go for a Focus Blast and it's going to do plenty of damage. I'm not really worried because that Jirachi is dead as soon as it comes in. He's going to go for the Leech Seed, which again is not really that big of a deal. You know, he can Leech Seed all he wants. I don't really care because, uh, you know, the thing's going to be dead. And he is going to switch. I had to just, you know... I wasn't sure if Thunder would KO at that point, so I just had to bank on him. Yeah, obviously, um, I had to bank on the Focus Blast hitting. This is a Starmie, obvious Ice Beam is obvious. Here I'm going to sack my my Peach Dragon right here, my Dragon Knight, in hopes that you know I can bring in something that easily counters this, such as my Jirachi, because look at this. When you know, though, he carries the Hydro Pump, he hits the Hydro Pump as well, which is... Always annoying. I'm going to body slam though and, you know, get the paralysis. So, as you can tell, this battle is already super hexy. I mean, what can you do? And now he's going to bring in his Polytoad, and I was like, yeah, I got nothing to lose. I might as well wish. And I'm pretty sure that I can hopefully either get the flinch or the paralysis by going with Iron Head. And I get the paralysis, fortunately, since I didn't get the flinch. And now I'm at full health, so I'm like, hey, you know, he's probably going to go for a Hydro Pump. My Politoed can take a Hydro Pump and retaliate with my own Hydro Pump. Because Hydro Pump at this point is going to easily one-shot the rest of his team. And I just want to get rid of the Politoed because, you know, then I don't have to worry. Now he's going to bring in his Jirachi. He's going to go for the Substitute. For whatever reason, he does not just finish off the... He, I guess he was banking on my Hydro Pump missing or something, but he didn't just finish off the the Politoed, which is impressive. I think maybe he thought I was going to switch because I knew he had Thunder. And so he'd be smart and get behind his free substitute, but yeah, I was trying to sack Politoed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to bring in my Thunderous T. He is going to switch, which is a smart play on his part, and I believe I just go for the Thunder, which is an easy KO from Fer on Ferrothorn at that range, which is very nice because, you know, easy KOs are good. Now he's going to bring in Starmie, and I obviously am stuck in here because, you know, I die regardless. He's going to go for the Ice Beam, which is, again, not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to go for the Body Slam here. He's going to go for the Rapid Spin, get rid of the Rocks, which doesn't matter because Jirachi honestly doesn't take that much damage from Rocks. And so now he's paralyzed. I could have switched into Scizor, but I was, you know, kind of, you know, fearing that he'd break through the Paralysis because Hacks so far hasn't exactly been so favorable for me. I don't really care, though, because, you know... He can Water Pulse me, I can take his Thunders, I don't really care, I can Paralyze him. So I thought, wouldn't you know, I hit every Paralysis I need to hit, except for this one. This one Paralysis decides, hey, let's let's not allow him to hit. And so, you know, whatever. I figure he's probably going to go ahead, be cocky, set up a um, Call Mind on the next turn, because he's going to Water Pulse and hope to confuse me. In hopes that I'll hit myself, and, uh, you know, amazingly, he is going to get the Confusion hacks again. I don't hit myself, but he gets Confusion, so that's not that's not nice. Now he's going to go for Thunder, and I mean 60%. I can't really argue with that, and I'm going to hit myself because that's what Parafusion does. But at the same time, it gets, I mean, like, where where's where's the hacks that I need when I need it? Okay. So, Water Pulse only has 20% 20, 20 chance to confuse, or like 30, or it's like 40%, I think, maybe, because I think it's 20% normally. It's, you guys can correct me in the comments below. It's one of those, it's one of those, but, I mean, you know, I figure, hey, he's not going to get another confusion. And then I'm like, hey, I'm going to break through, get a bug bite, and it's going to be pretty much GG, because I can just, you know, damage it, out damage his substitutes. No! No! No, there's the game-changing hacks right there. There's the game-changing hacks. Unfor unfortunately for me, 
guess what? I break through, but it's not going to matter. Because guess what? Because of that one confusion hitting me, it screwed me up. It just, like, it screwed me over. It just straight up screwed me over. I can't really say anything. And because I didn't get the paralysis on the Jirachi when I should have gotten the paralysis, it just, there's no point. There's, there's no point. I know he's going to set up a substitute because he's going to be just kind of a jerk and, you know, finish this off in a trolley way rather than, uh, you know, just kill me. Well, I mean, he's going to just kill me, and I'm not even going to bother to wish to outstall him because, again, there's no point. Eventually, he gets a plus six call mine, and my Jirachi takes a lot of damage. And so, you know, I'm par I'm Parafusion, he has 32, he has basically 32 attacks plus 16, so he has 48 attacks. He can out-attack me, unfortunately. I can just, like, stall with Stealth Rocks. Could have stalled it to a Struggle Ward, potentially, but I still would have lost on that end, so there was no point in all honesty. So I was like, hey, there's no point. I'm just not even going to try and stall because, you know, Hax is screwing me over anyway, so there's more than likely I wouldn't even... The turns I'd be able to get up wish, I wouldn't even be able to wish... And so I'm going to barely not kill myself. He's going to get lucky with Hex and 1-0 me, which is, you know... This is this is why Nick's Curse was at its finest, but I mean, you know, what are you going to do? I guess Hex is Hex, but it's just... It's it's kind of annoying, but looking back, it's kind of funny that he got so much Hex that it actually changed the game entirely. Hope you guys enjoyed, though, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.